In the past few months, I've been using this wonderful vlogging camera. It's a Sony ZEV10. I bought it from Amazon. It's highly rated on Amazon as a good vlogging camera. But as I've been using it for six months, I didn't like its stabilization system. Because for you to record stable footage, you have to, to record them first and stabilize them by using their software uh, system, which is called Catalyst Browser. Uh, press that it's somehow big and uh, when you are vlogging with it in public it kind of attracts people's attention I, and I didn't like that I wanted something that, that I'd be uh, recording with and nobody knows what I'm doing so I decided to go for an action camera I've been seeing many vloggers using it I decided to go for it so I hit my friend who happens to be in Dubai Shout out to him, he's been helping me to buy some gears from Dubai and uh, I asked him to buy me a GoPro camera. This one. This is a GoPro Hilo 11. It's brand new straight from GoPro shop in Dubai. I didn't want to buy a second hand camera because sometimes the user have been using it and uh, they has got some issues and he want to get rid of it. So I didn't want to put myself in troubles by using a used camera. So I went for brand new one this is a gopro hero 11 brand new from gopro shop in dubai so i'm gonna unbox it together with you guys plus also some other accessories you know sometimes these action cameras has got battery problems you cannot record for more than 30 minutes so the battery will already be down i decided to buy these other spare batteries so that i will be able to record for more hours this is a dual charger Press enduro batteries straight from GoPro shop too. And also, there are some other kits. As you know, uh, this action camera is mainly used by people who are doing some vlogs, people are doing uh, who are trying to record some sport events, and I decided to buy some other kits uh, that will be helping me to use my GoPro in different instances. For instance, uh, I sometimes do vlogs by riding my motorbike. So I will be able to mount my GoPro on my helmet, being able to film while riding my motorbike. And I also sometimes do ride a bicycle. And you know, when you are riding a bicycle, especially when you are riding in a bumpy load, you will have, you will need a camera with a strong stabilization system. That's why I went for this GoPro. I will also unbox this toolkit so that you may check them out. Maybe you also do create some content which are somehow like mine so you can go for these kits let's begin by unboxing this wonderful gopro hero 11 this is their travels remember to like this video and if you are interested in traveling content because i do create traveling content please subscribe on my channel yes let's begin this is a, a gopro Let me go pro hilo 11 okay here it is now wow it's a brand new one guys let me put this one in the trash bin it's gonna be in the trash bin and we open this one we have to get some manual a day card manuals <laughs> Remind me, how do we call it these papers? They're actually for guiding you how you will be using this camera. So inside this toolbox, there is this cable. It's a, it's a Type-C USB cable. This one that will be used to charge your camera. And then there is a battery for your camera. Then we have our brand new GoPro, There's some papers. I have to first of all remove There's some papers which are attached on it. You have to remove them. Here it is GoPro Hero 11, brand new one. Then I also have to, to unwarp this paper that is warped on the battery. It's a battery. And uh, put them in the trash bin too. Here there is 
inside the box also we've got some other some other set accessories that will help you to mount your gopro on different uh objects this one is no longer needed put them in the trash bin so now let's open the gopro don't even know where to open let's open and see what i can put in the battery open here and then let's just put in our battery now how do we put in our battery i have to check very well okay i think like this and then done good to go turn it on is it charged yes it's now turned on guys now turned on okay let's now unbox our battery case this one contain dual batteries with the charger okay okay manual guides this one i guess i will need them okay can't get them off guys hey this guy can't take them off don't know how they have okay finally i'm able to take them off out so we have our charger here this is our gopro charger this one uh, inside you can charge two batteries at the same time. Other spare batteries, two spare batteries here. And then we have also our cable to charge our battery charger. Okay, here it is. This one has to go in the trash bin to take them off there. Manual guys, I may need them after. So now let's open this toolkit for GoPros. You can see that there are many different tools inside this toolkit. And uh, the first one being this one. So for people who do uh, film them, uh, for people who do film themselves while swimming, or they want to capture wonderful moment, wonderful moment while they are diving in the pool. You can use this one because this one will prevent your GoPro from sinking in the pool. It can actually help your GoPro to float in the pool. You just have to unfold these two stuff like this. And then you. Yeah, you mount. You mount your GoPro on this stuff. It's a little good, guys. This is the first tool. Now we've got this one. This one you can maybe warp this one on your arm, I guess, if I'm not wrong, on your arm. And then you'll be filming. You can uh, mount your GoPro here and then you'll be filming as you are working. And you've got this one. It can help you to mount your GoPro on the car, on the front side of uh, front side of your car, so that you can be filming you while you're driving. Yeah. Also have this one. Do I know this one? I guess can mount your GoPro on the window, on the door, or something else. It can help you. I can even mount it on this board of mine, and then I'll be filming, maybe filming myself aside while sitting here on this desk. Let me check out this one. Okay, this one is like, it's like. Uh, it's a hoarder. This one is like a hoarder. Can uh, where? How can I put this one on? I will have to check it out how to mount this one. Yeah, it can even be used as a tripod. As a tripod. Also, we've got. Some other bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. I think I will not need some of them. So we've got this one. 
Uh, for instance, you are working on the street and you are holding two bags in your two hands and you cannot hold your camera with your hand. You can just mount your GoPro on this stuff like this. Let me show you guys. Like this, I, I, like this. You can mount it here. Then use this screw, this screw to mount it just like this. And then as you have already mounted, you will, you will put this on your head just like this. So at this time I can start filming. I can just be filming as I'm walking on the street. Nobody will be knowing what I'm doing. I can even put it on my head. Maybe I'm riding a bicycle. So we've got some other bunch of stuff here, but I think these were the main one. Uh, we've got many other stuff here, but I don't even know they use it. So the next step, we are going to hit the load and try to test our new camera. So I will show you guys how the footage are smooth. Yeah, let's hit the road and try it out. First of all, I will remove it from this stuff. Have to remove it from this stuff and uh, mount it on this one. Yeah, we will be filming like yeah, this side. Now mount it here. Yeah, and then you mount it here. Mount it on this one. I'm done. Let's hit the load and see what one. Yes, guys, we are actually hitting the load trying to test our new GoPro. Uh, I would like to say that this is a very good camera for people who want to do vlogs, travel vlogs, who will be working and uh, it's also good for people who be recording in public because this one is small and when you are recording in public you will not be drawing people's attention but the, the, the camera I have, I also have a Sony ZEV10, it's also good but I think it's good for recording maybe sit down videos uh as you can mount on different lens uh, but this one is good for recording just vlogging vlogs so now this is the end of the video remember to hit on the like button uh drop a comment down there guys tell me what i think about this new year and also if you want to be watching more of my travels hit on that subscribe button ciao